Hello everyone, today I'm going to review the Laowa 10mm f4 cookie lens for the Fujifilm X system. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Andrei Dima, I'm a travel photographer and video maker, and today I will review the Laowa 10mm f4 on the Fujifilm X-H2S, in the beautiful city of Zaragoza, Spain, and Valencia, Spain. Venus Optics sent me this lens to review and give you my honest opinion. Gladly I got it before leaving for a job in Zaragoza, a beautiful city from Spain that has gorgeous architecture and big squares, the perfect place to review a wide-angle lens like this. Let's start with build quality. Laowa are well known for their high quality lenses and this little cookie lens is no exception. It is built completely out of metal, the focus ring is metal, the aperture ring is metal, yes, this little lens has an aperture ring with clicks between stops, perfect for Fujifilm users. The ring turns smoothly between clicks and it is well dampened. The mount is metal but it has no weather sealing and no electronic connection. Laowa 10mm f4 lens has a nice smooth finish and nicely engraved markings. The focus ring turns smoothly and has a decent throw so you can focus precisely on your subject. The filter thread is 38mm. Its weight is only 130 grams so you can have this with you all the time. It has a design of 5 diaphragm blades that give you some beautiful sun stars, as you will see later in the video. There are 12 elements in 8 groups including 4 ED glasses and 2 a spherical, and a minimum focus distance of 10 cm. Yes, 10 cm. From all the pancake lenses I reviewed so far on this channel, this has the best build quality. But now let's see how is the image quality. As I said earlier, this lens has a nice feature I love. If you've been following me for a while or went on my website, you saw that I like sun stars in my photos. And this lens is such a great option if you want that. You get sun stars from f5.6 and at f8 and f11 they look incredible. This is a great lens if you want to make long exposure cityscapes and want them to be a bit different than other photos. Not to mention the size of the lens that is going to make it a breeze to go out and take those photos. The lens has good sharpness for a lens like this starting from f4. Most pancake lenses don't have very good image quality because they need to cut corners in order to make them so small. And with a lens wide like this it's even harder, but this lens is sharp in the center starting from f4. The corners are a bit soft. Stopping the lens down to f5.6 improves the center and the corners. Going further to f8 improves the image again, but just a little bit. And at f16, diffraction kicks in and the image gets soft. Because this lens is so wide, it suffers from vignetting, as you can see in my photos. But this is easy to correct in post. And it is not that bad. The Laowa 10mm f4 cookie lens handles chromatic aberrations very well. In all my testings I never had a problem with them, on contrasting edges or at night. Laowa are known for their good optics and coatings and this little lens shows that. And finally let's talk about distortion, something I expected to be bad on such a lens but I was pleasantly surprised to see that this lens has very little distortion close to none. The Laowa 10mm f4 has a spectacular minimum focus distance of 10 cm. This can give you some amazing close-up photos. The image quality when doing so is a bit soft but usable. You can take some very creative and interesting shots with this little lens. And regarding f4 and low light, or interior photos, with most recent cameras that have IBIS you will get very good results handheld. f4 is not the brightest aperture but still it lets in a decent amount of light. Lower your shutter speed and you will get some pretty good results inside decently lit buildings. If you want to use this lens for video you need to keep in mind that it has some focus breathing. 
Now to my conclusion. The Laowa 10mm f4 cookie lens has very good build quality. The focus ring is smooth and nice to use. It has an aperture ring with clicks and it looks very good on the camera. From all the pancake lenses I tested so far, this has the best build quality. And when it comes to image quality, I think it is quite good. Low distortion, nice sun stars, sharp from f4 in the center. The only minus would be the vignetting, but you can correct that in post. So, if you are looking for an interesting pancake lens that occupies almost no space in your backpack, has good image quality and looks cool, this is the lens to get. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and if you want to support the channel, use the links in the descriptions and check out my presets pack. See you next time.